Yeah, I don't hate you, just... <laughs> You're not the only person who watches my stream. Should I keep that hand on the back of Crib Breaker? Crib Breaker, discard Ventrine, play two dudes. It's not terrible. I'm on the play. What do we think, chat? Easy mall. Oh, this is not much better. Would Neonate have made that hand playable? Not really. The deck can win on five cards. I'm gonna play turn on feeder in case I hit a Hogak. Feels bad, man. We're gonna lose to turn on the breeding pool with our Hogak deck. Yeah. Are you thinking it's Neoform? Yeah, it could be. Mm, I can cast Hogak. Um. Well, I guess if I draw Hogak, I can cast it. and I get the next level badge. But I also need to purchase Twitch Prime again, sad yellow hat hooked. <laughs> I'm sorry like a sore off uh, Shelly D, but I do appreciate the support. Uh, I'm assuming we're not gonna win this game. The fastest clock. I'll play Bring to Light. I don't know that Bring to Light has that many uh, blue sources. Invite moi! Invite moi! Trying to mimic the voice of a 12 year old uh, asking someone to invite them to a game of Fortnite. It's not that bad. They're at 10 or less. Should probably be playing this differently, but. Regular escape, um, how do you call it? Team escape shift? Blue escape shift? Why is it in that deck? Not actual bring to light. Is Rayman the best card in modern? Sub there. I don't know, land maybe? It's not the worst. It's not the worst. Should I have that axe my own wayfinder? I don't think so. I don't think it makes a difference. I could have axe a grave crawler. I guess. I mean they're gonna have like snap uh They're gonna have like snap cryptic anyway. They don't have cryptic they're dead anyways, so. They don't have snap or cryptic. I 
Maybe they'll do something really dumb with their cryptic. I don't know. I don't know how it could matter. Maybe they'll try to bounce their Snapcaster Mage, not assume I have removal spell in my main deck. Now I see if they have the kill, I have no reason to do that. How did that Mono Blue Liz do yesterday? The Fairies deck, the like Curiosity deck, it was bad. We won our first two matches against Storm and Devoted Root combo, and then we got crushed by John and... Basically, you're gonna have good matchups against combo decks, and maybe the big mana decks, and then you're gonna lose pretty badly to like humans and jaunts, like all these decks. Alright. I usually make them do it, but I don't think I should. There's no point. Do I think I'm gonna play this deck at the PT? Probably not. Probably gonna play blue white like I always do. <laughs> Just making sure it's not broken. I don't know how they sideboard. Assuming every version sideboards differently. Maybe I'll play Esper. Maybe Chaos Gal is the is the missing piece. How's Arna doing with Esper Control? Does it look any good? I owe 20 bucks to Wrath of Wrath if I play Esper. Let's return to Nader is not bad. Could get them on Snap Cryptic. I'll bring in the first Crypt Breaker in case they have some kind of I don't know, it might be good against Rest in Peace. I think my EV is higher or lower than $20. What EV? The PT. I hope it's higher. My hands have been freaking garbage. It's pretty rough. What do I get rid of? Bloodgast and Neonate or Bloodbast and Gravecrawler. Hey Oliver. You wanna be a good guy and tell me what I should play at the PT? Oh no, I have to do one more. One fetch line away from greatness. Cryptic command. Bye bye. Salt eye charm, what the? Destroy target monocolor creature. We're gonna fight. That does nothing. That does something. That does nothing. That does nothing. Nice deck. Can't even beat a zero mana 8 8 trample for. Doing two. Should play. Is it Phoenix or Dredge? Wow. Yikes. Well, these decks are okay. I could play Dredge. I don't know about Is it Phoenix. I guess I could play Is it Phoenix. Canis claiming he would destroy you 1v1 blue white mirror. Probably would. He's obviously a better player. Salt Eye Charm. Maelstrom Pulse, a broad, like, what am I supposed to do about all these busted cards? Do I want to return to nature or not? Or do I just want more of my engine? I 
You can have ley line in their sideboard. Doesn't seem like a ley line kind of deck though. Why is Malice so wonky? What's so wonky about it? I'm just trying a few one ofs. Why are you hating? Ah, uh, Canister is playing blue light control? With Spell Pierce main deck and he's spell piercing a Renin, and, a Renin and 6. It's been memed so much that I was like, Renin 6? No, that doesn't sound right. Oh wait, it is actually Renin 6. Alright, I'll keep their hand since apparently their deck can be the Thoughtsies. Oh, they mulligans. So you can cast it as a charm, I'm fine with that. Snapcaster does nothing. I'm gonna take the far seat, I guess. Oh, we're opening out drinking? Looks like the lady robot. Which word did she not like? Yo, Gabriel, hope we can meet in Barcelona. First cocktail on me. Maybe she was just on strike or something. Flourish, lol. Thank you so much for the 14 months. Looking forward to uh, meeting you and, you know, everyone in Barcelona. Should be fun. Alright, so they have Is It Charm, but if they counter Thoughtseize, then at least they're not digging to cards they can play, so that's... Okay, how many cards are in the graveyard right now? I'll have four. If I play Blood Gas this turn... How, is, how am I the one with the kind of like weeb sub, uh, sub alert and not canister? I don't know if Japanese equals weed, but it's probably a bit, a bit uh, not the greatest. The guy, 420. Alright, that deserves a little, uh, little jingle. The guy, 420. Thank you for the sub. Smoke weed every day. Welcome to the sewer. Um, Alright. I think I should just play Bloodgast. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, right? Does her man? No, I actually thought he's first probably better. Because Blood Gas, Federal Looting, Blood Gas is better card to discard, I guess. But Feeder is like cheaper to cast, so maybe I'm more likely to play. Bring back a Vengevine next turn. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and play this deck at my IQ tomorrow. Do you like this deck? I played it very little, but no, I played it a bit. It's I think it's good. Don't play the Madcap Experiment. That card just beats me, right? I brought in two Return to Nature. That's pretty scary. I'm not gonna gamble. I'm just gonna take that. Um, yeah, don't play the Burning Quarry Hollow One version. Well, I don't think you should. Anyways, I tried it this morning. It was uh. It was pretty bad. Alright, we need looting. What else can we how else can we cast loot? Oh, okay. Looting it is. So what's their hand? Snapcaster and search for tomorrow. Well, that's pretty great. Um Should probably sag the Wayfinder to fear, right? It's just like one more damage. What if I sack at six? What if I sack Blood Gas? It's one more damage now. It's probably not good. 
Is this list different from yesterday? Yeah, I mixed up the one ofs and I'm not playing four neonates. I'm only playing one axe. I'm trying to maximize velocity. I'm trying out main deck of Brab Decay, Garage, Thug. I feel like the way you lose game ones is cards like Thing in the Ice, Bridge. Um, why is Moda bugged? Let me get back to my match. Please. So, I'm trying to see if um, if I get punished for having these cards in my main deck, you know, over... I'm pretty impressed by Wayfinder, honestly. You didn't need it as badly in the Hedron Crab version, but I think the Hedron Crab version is worse. Wayfinder is just super solid. Like maybe maybe Crib Breaker should just be Wayfinder. I haven't like I don't know, I'm not sure about the whole Crib Breaker thing. Alright, so this hand goes turn one axe, turn two, neonate, discard bench It's kind of a good hand, I think. They're playing first, they're mulliganing. Probably is this deck can easily cast Hogak on turn two, even on Mulligan to six. Maybe even sometimes five. Five's a bit harder, but obviously. Um, I can just discard Imp turn one. Dredge the Imp. It doesn't do too much for me. I could like, because I need to draw. That's kind of a close one. Did Claim to Fame underperform? Not Claim to Fame's good. I'm trying different cards. I think Claim to Fame is really solid. Especially if you're playing Wayfinder, you can go like, I don't know, turn one, supplier, mail a Wayfinder, turn two, claim a Wayfinder. That's like a really easy way to get back to Hogan I can just play. I didn't mulligan yet. It's just seven. I don't know if this is good enough now. It's good if they're playing a creature on turn one. Mr. Spook, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I feel like I have none of my best cards, you know. So I'm gonna mulligan. This is obviously much better. Yeah. So I cracked I cracked the code of the the level free judge. It's uh it is it is Kevin Depre, it is the level five French head judge. But I guess he never you know, they never made him an account. I think he told me he maybe has a level 4 account somewhere. I'm not sure if he has a level 5, but he's playing He's playing in a tournament this weekend in Paris, modern tournament. I guess... I'm assuming it's for, like, quote-unquote... I mean, he likes playing Magic, but... I wonder if he would be playing modern if he wasn't head judging the PT next week. I mean, I'm assuming he's, like, some kind of head judge next week. Doing his homework. He messaged me on Facebook, he asked me uh, in which matchup he should board out Baby Teferi, and I was like, eh, I don't know, just never board it out, it's good against everyone. Kevin farmed us yesterday, he, he beat me, then he beat, who did he beat on stream, maybe Canister? Oof, Burn. Uh, the first hand would have been pretty good against Burn. This hand might be okay against Burn too. Ooh, a looting. Looting, looting, looting. I think I just play Supplier. I see more cards to Venture There's nothing I want to discard anyways. The question is, do I... Can I get away with, like, Base Week Swamp now? I think I'm going to have to shock myself at least once. This game. Maybe not, maybe I can go like Swamp Supplier, Turn 2, Supplier, Tapped, Fetch Land. No, my draw's gonna be so much better though if I cast Looting next turn. I might even block with Supplier, I forgot I could do that. Hogag doesn't mind being discarded. Yeah, that's true, but sometimes you don't have enough cards, especially when you mold good stuff. Oh, let's see what they do. 
get swamp now just in case you mill it. Yeah, but you usually want to cast looting before doing anything else. What did I reveal? Neonate. Interesting. Do I want to draw a neonate? Doesn't do much for me. But if I block, I might not be able to cast Hoyak. If I block, I'm more likely to bring back Vengevine and stuff. I'm gonna block. Saving 2 damage obviously is, is relevant. Alright. Alright, so that works. And probably discard Hogak pretty safely, right? Having a bench vine would be nice. You can slow me down a turn by bolting supplier, but that then that means they're bolting a supplier. It's probably not terrible for me. Could have really used a bench vine this game. Looks like I should be okay. Oh right, they have a rift bolt on the stack. Oh, it's gonna be close. Who's a favorite right now? They're probably a favorite. They need to deal eight burns of eight points of burn with four cards and four mana. Okay, that's really good for me that they had to land. I was thinking since they have Sunday Canyon means they probably don't have too many lands in hand. We do have another goblin guy, that's kind of doesn't matter, I guess, to put me down to six. Alright, it's gonna be up the top. Grave Crawler. Grave Crawler. Probably an underdog. I'm obviously an underdog. Hmm. Yeah, I was one Vengevine short of winning this game. And they were on the play. And I mulliganed, right? Put up a decent fight. I'm not sure what they're on these days. They're on rest in peace or path to exile. Could bring in one return to nature. Kills Eidolon. Could bring in force of vigor too. Kills Eidolon without dealing damage to me. That's a pretty hefty price. Hmm. I wonder if I could have played in a way to kill more of my suppliers to try and hit Creeping Chill. I don't think so. Knot of Bones. I wonder if go I thought about that card, but problem is with Hogak, you don't have a, you don't always have a very big graveyard. But I mean, if it was only for Burn, yeah. I think Burn's pretty bad, pretty bad deck choice. It's not especially good against humans or dredge. I don't think it's good against Hogak either, especially if people are playing the two or three color version with Blackleaf Cliff where you don't deal like a billion damage to yourself. I guess they mulligan wait, was were they the one who mulligan? Oh we both mulligan game one. Don't know if people are gonna play burn. I doubt it. Probably gonna play against Burn like once in the PT. I think I'm fine with that. Since I drew a land, I'm just gonna block. Try and hit that Vengevine, or even a Bloodgast.
Raph, you know what's good against Baron? Soulfire Grandmaster. <laughs> ah, I can't even joke anymore. Um, I think I should bag here, right? Not sure I did that first, doesn't matter. You better have some super secret technology here. Man, Black Teeth Cliff is so nice against Burn. You can maximize velocity, fetch some, and trigger a Uh That's a good point, actually. I only have one basic swamp in my deck, though. I've, yeah. How am I still at 20? Oh yeah, I blocked turn one. I think two swamps a bit greedy. I love, I love me a basic, but yeah. Hey Secunder, was this game? I just had a really good draw on the play, kind of a perfect draw on the play. There's just nothing they could have done. They could do. Not there on the play. It's a bit scarier. They kept seven. Sounds pretty good. Definitely need to keep both lands. Definitely want to keep Vengevine and Axe and push. Probably just get rid of Thug. Maybe Thug is better than Vengevine. I doubt it. Neonate. That's a good one. My kingdom for a black thief cliff. They have five cards, I'm at 15. Their cards deal uh, free damage. GG. All right, no, uh, no thingy was good for us. Venge vines. Ooh, grave crawler. Neonate. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this race. Not without uh, Hogak. Hogak. Actually, Neonate was probably better. I could just draw Hogak. Uh, yeah, looks like I'm dead. I could push my own grave crawler to cast it again, but I'd have to bolt myself to do that. It's not a winning proposition. I might do that next turn though. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I have a feeling they have 11 points of damage somehow. I don't know why I have really bad feeling. Nice. It's obviously really good for us. They just have a shard volley or something. No, they don't play shard volley in the wide version, do they? Easy. Easy game. That was close, that was really close. I was like one black leaf cliff away or one creeping chill away from winning. I think this is a good matchup for Hugag though. Or Hogak. Maybe I'll start calling it Hugak. Yeah, I mean, it's classic burn when they draw exactly three lands. That's like the dream for them. Three lands, uh, three lands, seven spells on the play. 
Now you're gonna free on six spells on the play. That's turn oh that's turn four kill. Push Stitcher, hit Hogak. Pretty unfortunate that I just mulligan into five literally every game. Be nice if that could stop. I'm not asking for much. I think this version's pretty consistent. How does Outer Dredge feed compare to the normal one? Um, has different matchups. It's not exactly the same deck. I like it. I haven't played a ton of Dredge. Hogak's more fun. Dredge might just be better. I don't know if I should get just get rid of Vile here. Wait, they're playing Vapor Snag in their deck? It's so weird. Wayfinder in the 19 land deck, lol. I wonder what are the odds of breaking on Wayfinder. I don't really need the land anyways, cards in my yard is good too. Am I gonna play blue white control today? No. Alright, is in the next big battle. Canister is playing blue white, you can check out his stream. Oh, how does everyone always win with blue white? I have Thug in my graveyard. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot to dredge. I think I'm gonna win this race, am I? I might. Probably DK might be, might get me there. Wait, did I mess that up? I didn't have to play with Gar Thug. Well, that was bad. Hopefully it's not game losing. It might be. Vapor snag. Vapor snag over fatal push is pretty aggressive. I guess saving your own dudes is kind of nice against control decks. Have I tested the Hoyak Pox deck at all? No, it looks really bad. Have you seen anyone play with it? Is it actually good? Yeah. It's a sweet card. Yeah, if I kept up a Brav Decay, I might have a shot this game. Kill that dude, take one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you have rest in peace, grab diggers, cage, both. Good sideboard, you a lot of cards in this matchup. Don't want grudge. Don't think I want creeping chill. Don't think I'll maximize velocity. Could trim some carrion feeder. Could not do crib breaker. How well do they use an extra land? Probably not super well. How badly do I need fail push against them? I don't really need fail push against them. Just want to do trophy. I could do I could do push 
I guess I like Thoughtseize against the Rest in Peace deck too. Two Thoughtseize. Free removal. Carrion Feeder is kind of nice against Vapor Snag. Could board out an air and eight, maybe a bench vine. Maybe I'll trim a bench vine. I'll do force of vigor. I don't know why. No, it's probably bad. <laughs> With the new London mulligan rule and how people are willing to mull to G1 specific combo pieces or sideboard cards, any deck that plays main board, Inquisition or Thoughties is well placed. What do you think? Well, they're not going to mulligan against you, right? They know you're playing an Inquisition deck, a fair deck, so... They might keep, like, slower hands to not get wrecked by discard spells, so I don't know. I don't think that makes a ton of sense. I guess I'll keep. I'm mulliganing way less aggressively after a sideboard. Yeah. I feel like the London Mulligan kind of, everyone benefits a bit, you know, it's, I mean, some decks benefits more than others. It's not, not like, insane or anything. Alright, so probably just say go. And discard Vengevine. Do I have a better line? I don't think so. Will draft in Barcelona be Modern Horizon or M20? And the Mythic Championship is Modern Horizon draft. Man, they really like their vapor snags. They might have rest in peace. I think I still discard, uh... Lunchine, right? They're leaving Vapor Snag and stuff. Maybe I'm supposed to bring Fatal Push. You know, it's Crib Breaker. I can probably play some grindy decks. Their opening hand is going to be like Lands, Vapor Snag, Rest in Peace, Aether Vial, and they have like two creatures. Like, it's modern decks right now. If I knew what the best modern decks were, I would be drafting right now. The question is, do I draw cards or not? I don't have a ton to draw. Two damage or cards? Colonnade. Best card in modern. Should I draw first or wayfinder first? I should waste. And play grave crawler and then draw using grave crawler and attack for two. That was pretty brutal. My force of vigor and the broad decay and no lands. I'm trading four damage for one damage and a card. I feel like I need to. I feel like my mopey dudes are not gonna get there. Carrion feeder could get there, I guess. Yeah, five damage if I sack wayfinder. Is Modern fixed now? Modern's pretty good right now, I think. We'll see. I think this deck is good. I feel like I only lose when I get really bad draws and mulligan to five and never draw the right card. And then when things go kind of okay, I win. Could also just be that, you know, the deck's just not that consistent. Yeah, I'm journaling too much. Nice canister, canister stream over. Oh, you're trying to steal my decklist canister? Inspire yourself?
If you have any questions, Canister, I can coach you. Let's see what Canister has to say about my deck list. I can also coach you playing blue white. Man, the one time I'm not, the one time I'm streaming and I can't watch Canister stream, there's an actual good song playing. Wondering about Ancient God main deck is so I can beat Canister if we play at the PT. That's all I care about. That card's pretty good at Insta, Hogak. Open and one deep. I need to draw more cards this game. I'll try and draw one more card. We can Hogak. They're pretty powerful wizards. If you can Hogak there. How could I have hogak Careful. If you don't give a right answer. Oh, next turn. Ugh. That's the two mana green creature. It's sadder wayfinder. It's, it's pretty good. Cancer just always has a nuts. Every time I look, he has like Jace, Jace in play. No big deal. Honestly, he should play blue white control. Ooh, Arna. Thanks for the raid. Welcome everyone. Or in round three, down a game. This league's not going very well. Hopefully, as for control went better. How is as for control? What kind of world are we living in that Canister is playing blue eyed and Gav is playing Hogak? Didn't you know today, July nineteenth, it's opposite days. Okay, that's a card that does something. I guess they have Herald. Yeah. Medium as always, free two and free two. Yeah, the problem is for Esper is you need like you need a lot of tuning. The blue white the blue white deck at least is like really well tuned. We're not technically dead. Open and kind of had the nuts this game. Playing in easy mode. Blue Eye Spirits might be good against Hogak. This dude's annoying. Dev, rest in peace. Dev, Vapor Snag, I guess. Not sure why you played that over Path to Exile, but maybe they're playing both. I don't even sure I'm still playing this game. Dead free spells in hand. That's bringing Force of Vigor was decent. Force of Vigor would have been insane. Force of Vigor is kind of cool against the Ether Vile decks. Because usually when they have Ether Vile, they don't have Leyline. They have like, I mean, even if they do, but they don't have like, humans will have like, Grab Vigor's Cage, Spirits will have Rest in Peace. Yeah, I mean, I think this deck just wants four Sadder Wayfinder. Every time I have these one ofs, I can actually keep this hand. One, two, three, four. So if I draw anything good or fetch land, this hand is good. And as the bonus that if I'm playing against an artifact deck somehow, like what, one out of six, seven times, my grudge is going to be like super nice. Chalice for one turn one. Smuggler Sculptor. Okay. Probably like Eldrazi Scourge or something. I think I'll play Fetch first in case I uh, draw another Fetch Land. So we need a fetch land or 
a one drop or a looting. That was not any of these cards. Think they're gonna go think they're gonna call the judge on us. The check. <laughs> Sick part is they probably play like one cop turn their deck. They have like one relevant artifact to to make my ancient grudge uh, to give my ancient grudge value. <laughs> And they invested Simeon Spirit Guide in it too. Scavenger Ground. How greedy should I get? Just play Bloodgast or Crib Breaker. Just play Bloodgast, I guess. I'm not even gonna try and sack a fetch land. I mean I don't think they I don't think they can beat an eighty trample. Alright, so they have chalice. Maybe grab the earth cage. Maybe I line up the void. that too much? We'll see, I guess. Uh, this thing is cool, it has Force of Vigor. Over in Snapcap 7. I kind of want to keep. I think this hand's okay. I hope they go turn on Chalice and I go turn on Force of Vigor. Mimic. Hmm. Not sure why I play that one first. Not sure it matters either. I think this hand's pretty reasonable. Dude, it's so good when it's good. So absurd. I was thinking about that uh, yesterday. People say like the ley line makes your mulligans better and stuff, but I was thinking like what what might end up happening a lot of the time is they're gonna like mulligan to six or five to get their ley line desperately, and you just have like a disenchant, and you kept seven. So I, I wonder like. How that how that affects uh, things kind of probably still gonna lose this game. We'll see. But I mean they had their absolute not drawn to play and I still have a fighting chance. What do you think about the Safari deck? I don't get to play much standard right now, but every time I play with it, I win. I win a lot, a lot more than I lose. I don't know if it means much. And I'm playing against like good decks too. What deck am I playing next? I'm not too sure. I might play another league with this deck. I might. I kind of want to play uh, one of Canister's Urza decks, maybe. See how that feels. Probably not Swan's Wrath. Don't hold your breath. Rally Smasher would be kind of gas, actually. Yes, no, never mind. I died of Reality Smasher, but I get to like trophy and discard the Vengevine to the Reality Smasher trigger and then bring it back. But please don't have a Smasher because I'm just dead if you do. 
how did taking turns go? That felt pretty good. It felt like a decent version of, you know, Blue Moon kind of. Yeah, Open and had a slightly over average draw, I would say. I think maybe need to trim Vengevine if I'm going to board out uh, Neonate. It's the biggest problem I have to do with this deck is like getting stuck with Vengevines in hand. I think my plan needs to be removal for their hate and ways to cast Hogak efficiently. Hogak is all that matters, honestly. I mean, Vengevine is a nice plus, but maybe that should be like my main focus. Like even Thoughtseize kind of helps you cast Hogak a bit. I'll try that for science as they say. Fenvine's is a green card for Force of Vigor. I mean, I can leave in one or two. Crib Breaker seems pretty bad in this matchup. Even though it does help you cast Hogak. Let's go to his older removal though. Gary Thok's pretty good at casting Hogak too. What about that zombie that if it's in your graveyard you can discard a card to make some tokens? What's that card? Alright, this sounds really good. Oh, I get Serum Powder. Dude, Serum Powder plus Leyline. How do you even break? Serum Powder, London Mulligan. We're basically 100% start with Leyline in play. Hey, Jekyll. It's been a while. A little, a little limited screenshot. Even though I've played Hogak in Limited, it's, I think it's like a pretty high pick now. There's decent ways to trigger it. You've got Ransack the Lab, you've got... Some green cards, I think. That's it, no lane line. So we can play turn one chalice, but I've returned to nature. I think I need to play Stitcher Supplier, turn one. I guess if I play... Yeah. Yeah, maybe at times I'm supposed to cast Thoughtseize on turn one. Oh, I forgot to attack. Nice. At least I feel like my choices are paying off. I'm playing Re Return to Nature because of Chalice of the Void. And it's kind of working. Yeah, that's why I should have played Thoughtseize on turn one. I think. Sometimes your opponents just have perfect hands every game, and it's rough. And it still feels like the games are close. Do I worry about milling my two green sources? Nah, the odds are like... I mean, if you worry about that, you probably shouldn't leave your house. Am I in a rush? I don't think so. I mean, kind of, but also... Oh. Maybe the deck's a bit too empty if you cut Vengevine.
Or I could have drawn a card. Yeah. I'm dumb. Kind of out of it. A bit frustrating. Mm, opens just draws perfect every game and you have your like bottom 20% draw. I see I didn't have my bottom 20% draws, but I mean I guess in the first I don't know, I just small against five and never had turn to Hogak against anyone. Whatever. I guess I can't cut all the vent lines. My my citrus supplier become too too uh too bad. Almost feel like you could go in uh full crib breaker removal mode against these decks that but they don't bring that much hate, they bring like I mean, Chalice you have to get rid of anyways, even though was a Crib Breaker and then it's like four Ley Lines. Oh wow, a good hand. I'm like, what? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play four Wayfinder next time. It's just so easy every time you have it in here, especially game one, such a good game one card. That'd be awkward if I'd nailed my uh, my second overgrown tomb. I guess I would have just played Gilgar Thug. I do you have surgical extraction? Yeah, no, I I think it's I mean it's interesting. I'm fine, you know. I'm testing. That's fine. I don't really care if I'm losing. I mean, I guess I do care. I shouldn't though. Alright, so I like Thoughtseize and Crib Breaker. Kind of like Trophy, but Trophy and Rest in Peace feels pretty bad. Definitely don't want Grudge. Lightning Axe is. We're gonna have dudes, whether it's Mentor or Lyra. Probably like want free answers to rest in peace. Could do like these these cards. One trophy, one return, one abrupt decay. Creeping chill can go. Tinkwood Imp can probably go. Maximize Velocity can probably go. Lightning Axe can probably go. Well, having the second trophy is kind of weird. I'm gonna try that. I'll go just do the kind of almost the minimum. Are you playing against Canister? I didn't even realize. <laughs> French people are so insane. They want to like retire at. Long I mean, I don't know. On the on the one hand. No, they're, I mean, I mean, you can't retire earlier when people are living longer. That doesn't make a ton of sense. Should probably take Narset. Or Snapcaster. They play land. If I take snap, 
They take, they play a land, I play a blood gas, they play a narc set, I can't even kill it. They get one activation out of it. Snapcaster doesn't block my stuff very well. Now it means they get like double path to exile, but I have carrion feeder. Alright, I think it's close. Yeah, I mean, Macron's not perfect. I'm not a huge fan. I wrote it for him, but I see I've been a bit disappointed. I mean, it's it's tough. People are just pissed about everything because just rich people just screwing everyone over. So it's almost like you should be pissed about every everything. Are the yellow vests still active? Not really. I mean, you see people with the yellow vest in their car to show support still, and I don't know if they still gather every Saturday. They used to just gather every Saturday. I think they might be. Like, I know I went to, when I went off on weekend, like, what was it, a month ago or so? A few hours from Paris. My friend had a, a yellow vest in their car, and I was like, how come you guys have a yellow vest? And they're like, oh, like there's those like people blocking the, the roundabouts, and if you don't have a yellow vest, you know, it can get a bit tricky. So they just have it out of convenience to be just so they'll let it leave them. Really? Pretty yeah. Return to nature looking kind of geese, honestly. Might be better than nature's claim in this deck. I think dredge is a bit different because you want to get rid of turn right of it turn one and start being able to do so. Like what do I do here? Do I just return to nature to the path to exile if they try to snap snap path? Is that even good? Do I care about a blood gap? It's mandatory by to have a yellow vest in your car, but they don't have it. What they do is they put it on the on the seat, so you know, to show support and stuff. Uh, I don't think I care that much. I did not have a basic forest. Basic forest would be really good in this matchup. If I could have like 25 or 30 sideboard cards, I would probably, Basic Forest would probably be one of my sideboard cards. But I don't think it's reasonable to have Basic Forest otherwise. I guess I shouldn't play the second one. Right? You could also play two Basic Swamps in the deck. They're just gonna kill me. I guess I should have used my return to nature. I figured I might discard it to crib break. Alright, they can do that. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Man, I haven't played blue white, there's only one basic in my deck. Feels bad. Dried Arbor, yeah, that's something I wanted to try, I kind of forgot. Could... I think I'm just gonna block. I don't wanna be in like, double colonnade, digit, you know, hit or what. Their hand must be really good. They must have like Teferi or Lyra in hand to make that play. Or like more cryptic commands. As if you just have like one other cryptic. Because now I can bring back Vengevine more easily.
definitely ship the token. Whatever, sweet. You have to make them have it. They're extremely likely to have it and be able to save their Teferi. But you just have to make them have it. Like you're not you're not winning. Otherwise I Need removal as badly on the draw on the play. Can have a bit less hate against Rusty. Let's probably slash some potential. It's solid against Rest in Peace, even if I break a bit. Let's see if Curb Breaker does anything. Looks really good. One Nurturing P Clan in the deck. Seems so greedy. There's like so many matches that that are races. Not only burn, but even against some of the other creatures. I was thinking about maybe playing Karen Feeder last turn instead of bringing back Gravecrawler right away. So let's see, free card. I have three Venge Vines, one out of fifty. What else could I mail? I'm not a favorite to mail a Venge Vine. What if I mail Hogag against Silkia? Probably better off attacking for one. In the short games, you don't draw it as often. In the long games, it's excellent. I don't think that's an argument. I feel like that's like fake math or something. I'm not sure how to disprove your your argument or you know the counterpoint to the. And spell slots. It, probably if you start cutting spells, you're either cutting something that's good when it hits your graveyard, or you're just gonna have like worse opening. Well, nothing of real value was lost. I think I probably. Hey, Andrew. Wow, they didn't have cryptic. I mean, means they don't have sweeper, cryptic, anything. 